music, it can really go places, huh? Good morning. How is everyone? Wait a minute. Where's my presentation? Oh, I forgot. I left my presentation in the mobile cloud. Hold on for a second. You can't see this. It's echolocation from my iris. Not that one. No, not a video email from my daughter right now. Oh, that's it. OK. Let's download that one. Web 2.0. Great. So do you have that application, by the way? Anybody have that application yet, the mobile cloud application? I hear it may be available at the Exchange soon. Anyway, I'm going to give you an overview of what I think is going to come next for Web 2.0, how it may relate to telecom. Of course, those of you who have maybe seen me before or even read about some of my, my heresies, um, you know, I've talked about VoIP for a long time, back when uh, the whole notion of anything traveling over an IP network was a bit of heresy. Uh, and then as we made the evolution, from copper to the web, the issues of what may be coming next in other kinds of platforms, post Wi-Fi, even post WiMAX, represents a very new way to think about business, not technology, a new way to think about business, doing business. If you're interested in your own sustainability for the future, you want to pay attention to this, not as a technological innovation, but as a global business innovation. Uh, I run a think tank in San Francisco. I write books. Uh, I'm focused on one thing and one thing only. What's coming next? Founded in 1990, we're all about forecasting what are the leading innovations that might transform business, markets, and society? What can we learn about what's coming over the top of the mountain that may help you become more successful in what you do? What do we need to understand about 10 vertical markets that we could then turn into markets, global markets, markets in our geography that we could then collaborate with others to figure out how to not just make money but serve. That is the ticket to your sustainability. Why? Because as we move towards Web 3.0, which I forecast is north of uh, in and around 2010 and beyond, you're talking about a very fast, robust, interoperable set of platforms. Voice is going to be critical to that. You're going to be looking at telepresence. I don't want to just see it. I want to engage in it. I want to feel it, engage in it. I want to travel through it. I can say that telereality, telepresence, 3D, that a variety of other applications will show up that will give a rich user experience. Are you going to help me do that? Or do you think that Web 2.0 is about you know, social networking and 15-year-olds on Facebook downloading videos that don't make any sense? Are you going to help enable the next generation of entrepreneurs? The next emergence of the middle class in India, Europe, Africa, Asia? Are you going to enable that? Because I can tell you right now, having just two weeks ago I was in Istanbul, a month and a half ago I was in Asia, I'm on my way to Europe and North Africa, I can tell you that's what's happening. That's the key driver. And Web 2.0 is going to play a role in this explosion. And this media ecosystem is emerging now. Imagine always on products, always on. This water will let me know if it's mine, identity management. It may be able to download nutraceutical biological information packets that will be good for me based on my genomic footprint that's logged in the cloud, of course, to be able to let me know if it is optimized for me, and if so, will it enable me? And the plastic, of course, I'll have a choice. I can interact with this always-on product to be able to let it know are you ecologically sound? Are you being taken care of? Now, you may say, gee, God, that sounds stupid. Why would you want to do that? Well, you know, you look at the economics. Look at how 90% of consumers in the US and Europe view themselves as green consumers. Certainly, green sustainability is one of the key drivers now of business, as we all know. This represents this business of so the plastic, the labeling, the water represents a couple billion dollar business. And when you look at the